All right, Mr. Sadko here, and welcome back to H1Z1. And last time I left off, I made some bullets and broke down and, you know, crafted crafted up some bullets and stuff. And uh, I left in that left off in that house there. And uh, I haven't played in a couple days. Uh, I noticed that there, there was a little issue with my game. Um, and what it is, since the recent patch, or maybe since Windows 10 came out, I normally run this game uh, SLI, and it does not support... SLI, but normally I just run it with it on anyway. And so what happened is, is I just run it anyway, you know, even though uh, it doesn't support SLI, um, it kind of helps just because some of your, some of your uh, other video card uh, will run your video capturing software and it just, it alleviates it just a little bit. But um, when I went to log in the game after downloading Windows 10, uh, there was these huge artifacts on the screen whenever I would open my inventory like so and it made the game basically impossible to play or record so what you have to do is if you're running SLI on this game or uh, I, I would suppose Crossfire uh, would also count in the situation but I've never run Crossfire so I wouldn't know um, but when you're running SLI with NVIDIA uh, you need to disable it before you try to play this game until it is patched or whatever they do to fix it. Thought I heard some trouble. And so, you know what? I don't really have a goal uh, for this uh, particular video. I'm just running around and uh, doing my thing. What that is, I really don't know. I'm just trying to find good stuff. And I am in uh, Cranberry. So what I was thinking of doing is, first of all, juking these annoying zombies on my tail. So I don't give myself away. There we go. And I was thinking about maybe going to the police station or someplace dangerous like that. And seeing if I can find anything good. And I kind of forget whether the police station is in Cranberry, but Cranberry isn't that big, so it's really not um, its really not particularly hard to find. And I got all these zombies on my tail, a whole bunch of them. I gotta try and juke around here and lose them before I, I get into town here. I think that did the trick pretty well. Nope, not really. We'll just continue running. But, uh... Right, so that's um, that's why I haven't made a video in uh, in a couple days here. Is that uh, I thought there was an issue, and then I, I sort of just looked up the issue, and uh, it was a really easy fix. I thought it was like a patching problem, uh, but really it's just uh, sort of my fault for uh, uh, running SLI, I suppose. And like I said, the game doesn't actually support SLI right now, but uh, most games that don't support SLI, you can just you can just have it running anyway, and whether or not it actually helps uh, is really not. Uh, the issue, it's just convenient just to have it, you know, always running so you don't have to turn it off and turn it on. Because when you go to turn off SLI, you need to have, like, everything closed. Um, even, like, I think your browser needs to be closed and things like that, so it's just sort of a pain, I guess. And there's a whole bunch of cabinets in here. And I really like that they made the proxy items... Um, so you can see, like, inside drawers. And I've been in these kind of buildings before with all these filing cabinets. Um, and you'd figure this would just be a treasure trove of bullets. But there are none. There's nothing in those filing cabinets. And probably for good reason, so that it wouldn't be, like, an overpowered place to, you know, get stuff at. So, let's continue on. And my energy and hydration are pretty low. So let's see if we can find some old Mexican food in some of these dumpsters. I guess not. Let's kill this guy. And let's take a little small hiding spot here. Ugh. Oh, so many zombies. Get shot. Alright. So, we got a bunch of blackberries, I guess. Um, I got some stagnant water. So, no, I think we're pretty good. I don't have any actual food on me. I haven't picked anything up. I typically just eat food on the spot. Um, 
you know, and if I if I need some for a long haul, I'll pick it up. But otherwise, uh, you can always find food pretty easy. You just pretty much go up to a dumpster and you'll find something in them. And you too get dead. Okay, so we're gonna whip out the old pistol. This is the only one I have ammo for. I'm actually gonna, as soon as I can craft some ammo, I'm gonna make ammo for my AK. Good old 7.62s. Although I'm, a, I'm assuming that's what it uses. Um, Cause there is, there is a such thing as a 545 uh, by 39 bullet, which is a smaller version. It was made with the AK-74, I believe. And um, it's like a smaller bullet, and they thought, <clears throat> military thought that like, oh, well, if you carry s smaller bullets, um, then that means you can have more bullets and thus shoot more people with them. Uh, but they're slightly less penetrative. They, they have, um, I think, a slightly higher velocity because they're smaller, but uh, they don't hit with as much force. I actually own an AR-15, and... Um, it's in 545. It, I have a. It's a regular AR-15 bottom, but it's a Smith and Wesson top, which is in 545. And basically, I can go online and buy these uh, big spam cans of ammo that come from Russia. And there's like this Russian gibberish on it that I can't read. And um, it's just there's like a thousand of them in there uh, for really cheap. So it's actually a pretty decent. Um, it's a pretty decent caliber, so you can get a lot of them for real cheap. Problem is, most of the 545 ammo that you get in those spam cans is corrosive. So when you fire it, um, you actually have to clean your gun immediately. Like, you should always clean your gun after firing, uh, um, you know, a rifle or a pistol or whatnot. But uh, this one's you have to. Uh, otherwise, you get this bubbling rust inside of the barrel and um, in the bolt. And that is not good, so... So it's kind of inconvenient. It kind of makes me not want to shoot it sometimes, just because I know that I'm going to have to clean the gun, like, inside and out to take it all apart, which is um, not hard by any means, but just sort of a pain. Whereas a normal uh, non-corrosive ammo, you know, you can just fire it, and if you really don't want to clean it right away, you don't have to. You can also buy non-corrosive 545, but uh, it's more expensive, and you can't, uh, you can't get as much of it at a time. Okay, so I made it to the police station. And now I kind of have to be a little bit quiet here. Just because there's almost always somebody in the police station. Or, um, shortly thereafter. When you get in it. 80 rounds. So I'm getting a bunch of ammo, and, uh, it doesn't really matter what I pick up. Okay, 45, that's cool. And I'm just gonna break it down, and I'm gonna turn it into my AK ammo. That way I'll have some pretty sweet assault rifle ammo. Be able to defend myself a little bit better than just using a 45. Although I'm a big fan of the 45 pistol. Again, I, own, I also own a 45 pistol. And you can see that in some of my videos. I have like a shooting playlist uh, of just some stupid like shooting videos I made um, over the course of, you know, time. And uh, you can see pistol in some of the videos and uh, it's a really great caliber I really love the 45 but on this game in particular the problem with 45 is that it's such a small clip uh, magazine I know some people would get uh, angry at people that say clip because uh, it is a magazine but whatever um, and the problem is is that there's only seven bullets so you run out very quickly and then you're forced to reload and while you're reloading, you end up getting shot by uh, your enemy. So, there's that. So I like to have the 9mm if I have a pistol in this game. Only because it holds so much more. It's a double um, a double wide magazine. So you can hold like, 50, I think it holds 15. And uh, that way you can just really unload. Like you can just shoot and shoot and shoot. And not have to worry about uh, any reloading issues. Okay, so we're on the roof. Uh, I need to go downstairs and check the armory. But uh, just up here, just uh, looking around, see if we can find anything. See if I can snipe with my 45 here. I think I might actually try and just, uh, like, shoot somebody 
when I see them because every time I meet somebody on this game, they they shoot me. Uh, I think in one video I was recording, uh, I met a guy in a police station. I think it was this police station actually, and I was talking to him for a little bit, and he seemed real cool. And then all of a sudden he just turned around and started hitting me. Is there no basement in this one? I forget. I guess not. I could have sworn there was. Am I just an idiot? Or... <laughs> I think. I could have sworn that there was a basement uh, in this. But I guess not. Well, oh well. The armory and whatnot, like in uh, the other town. But nope. Nothing good. Good at all. I got some bullets out of it, at the very least, and let's see how many I have. I got uh, eight 380s. Uh, the 45s really don't count, because I can't break those down, because I'm, you know, using them. So, I have about 12 bullets that I can break down, which would make six AK-47 bullets. Which is pretty much uh, not that useful. Um... I mean, you could get something done with, with six bullets, you know, but if you're really just going off, um, you would run out pretty quick. And I see that they didn't fix... Ooh. Okay, so there's a shotgun in here. Uh, I don't have... But you know what? I, I really... I don't have room for it. I could get rid of my bow, but again, every time you get rid of your bow, you kind of regret it. And, um... I'm really focusing on building on, on making AK ammo because I would I would have to focus on making shotgun ammo and AK ammo, and then that would be uh, that'd be a little bit too much to do at once. What was on top of there? Did I just see something up there? Oh, okay. Was there an antenna? I thought there was like some some person standing up there. Uh, it appears I have reached a dead end. But they didn't fix the pistol animation. I know they recently patched the game, and you can see that pistol. The the uh, the slide is back. And, uh, you definitely can't shoot a pistol with the slide back like that, so that's definitely still a graphical error that they haven't, uh, really fixed. Normally the slide on a pistol stays back like that, uh, when you run out of ammo so that you know that it's out of ammo. And there's a little button inside of a pistol, um, on the left side inside of the chamber, and if a bullet doesn't, if a bullet doesn't slide along that button and push it, then the, uh, then the slide will stay back uh, once it's retracted. And here's a bench. I probably could just uh, start breaking down some ammo here, even though I don't have much to do, like much to break down. I might as well, right? Uh, there's a 45 bullet, I suppose. I honestly really don't need too many more 45 bullets. A 14 is pretty much enough. Like, you really rarely would ever get into a situation in this game where you're going to use uh, 1445 bullets and still be alive. I've always I've always never really run into that situation, I guess. Uh, you either die or you don't, for the most part. So, okay, so what we have to do is uh, not do crafting to break down these bullets. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close this door just in case somebody lure, uh, runs in there. And I'm not sure how many people are on the server right now. I actually don't think I looked when I logged on. I just I just quickly logged on, and uh, uh, I think it was low. I, it is um, pretty late at night. I'm playing uh, pretty late at night right now, and so typically not a lot of people on. But uh, it might have been medium, maybe, but not a lot. I don't think the server that I play on is all that popular. Um, when I was when I first started playing the game and uh, several videos ago, I was playing on a high population server. The problem with a high population server is that you just die over and over and over again. There's, it's really hard to even avoid uh, dying over and over on a high population server, uh, unless you have like a group of friends to play with that can like really watch your back and like if you die, you can just go back to them and and sort of thing, or if you have a base and whatnot. But otherwise, if you're just running around alone, um, you'll just eventually run around the corner, and there'll be uh, there'll be just like two guys with just decked out to the max with body armor, helmets, 
uh, shotguns, and there's just nothing you can do about it. Okay. Oh, that is, uh, that is that. Well, really else in the church. But, uh, I'll tell you what, getting a little close to the end of the video chimer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the video here, and then I'm going to restart it. And move out from the church and find more trouble to get into. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time.